Hello everyone, I'm Father Tom Weisbecker, pastor here at St. James. I welcome you to our latest parish update. This Monday is the final session of Bishop Robert Barron's The Mass DVD series that we've been having here in the parish center. Uh, it's uh, the this last one's from going from, from communion to the end of Mass, and so it's really a, a fascinating part of what the Mass is all about. So. Again, if you, even if you haven't been to one of the, the, uh, the previous sessions, this would be fine to come to and uh, from 7 to 8 o'clock at night, Monday night in the Parish Center. So please come join us. This coming Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, as I'm sure you're probably aware of, and it's the beginning of Lent. Easter this year is on April 17th, which is a little bit later than normal. Uh, our mass schedule for Ash Wednesday will be 6.30, 8.15, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then we have uh, also a 6 and a 7.30 p.m. also in the church here. Just a reminder that Ash Wednesday and Good Friday are days of fasting and abstinence. Um, you know, fast, abstaining from meat, actually all the Fridays of Lent are days of abstinence. Uh, for, except this year, there's actually this 25th of March is the Solemnity of the Annunciation, nine months from Christmas. And so since it's on Friday, not only do you not have to fast on that day, but you don't have to abstain from meat. You can actually go have a good steak that day. Uh, so anyway, but it's just that one special Friday, March 25th. Lent is a great time for us to grow in our faith, and there's so many things that we need to grow in our faith. Uh, the question for all of us is, what can I do this year to observe Lent? What can I give up, or what can I do extra? And I do have a couple suggestions. For those who haven't been coming to Sunday Mass, you know, here's a chance to maybe make that step out of our comfort zone and go ahead and come back to Mass. It's, you know, offer that up, make that a, you know, it's hard for us sometimes to get out of our, our routine, but it's, it's, or get back into our routine. So I invite those who have been staying at home to restart coming to Mass. How about spending some quality time with family or friends we haven't seen because of COVID? You know, there's, there's, maybe there's people who are fairly isolated out there. Can I come visit them? Turn off the TV, computer, cell phone, and enjoy the silence. You know, try some special prayers like Lectio Divina, Rosary, Adoration. There's lots of different things that we could be doing. Also, the, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, is suggesting prayers and fasting for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine. That's one way we can overcome this this terrible invasion that we are facing here and maybe sanity will prevail we also be handing out the book everybody needs to forgive somebody by alan hunt at all the ash wednesday masses these are stories of ordinary people who have heroically had to forgive someone in their lives and it's really interesting you know would uh, that to hear those things it's a great goal for us personally in lent it's, I invite everybody to read the book, and then is there somebody in my life that has hurt me that I could try to make up with? And, you know, with gr holding grudges as cancer of the heart, it's so, so much easier and freer to let it go and live life. And, you know, it's also, how about forgiving ourselves? We're asking God to forgive us as we uh, are having, obviously, uh, confessions during Lent, or, or we'll have our special as we get closer to uh, Holy Week that we'll come out with our schedule, and we'll publish that in the bulletin and send copies home to everybody about those extra times as at that time. I'd like to thank all those who've signed, to part, signed up to participate and live Lent together this year. And, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity to share faith, to, go, to do a little uh, scripture reading and, and, and see how that affects different people. And, you know, we've been very blessed. We've had 120 people sign up. We have 17 groups. And we just uh, encourage that, uh, I wish them well, and that there'll be, the Holy Spirit will come upon all of them in a very special way. This coming Friday will be our first uh, quote-unquote normal of Knights of Columbus Fish Fry. Uh, you know, there'll be, we're back to, you know, sit in, and, uh, uh, and also we'll still have takeout, but you, you can sit up there and enjoy. Uh, the dates for our fish fries will be this Friday and then every other week after that, so the March 18th and April 1st. Um, because the, of inflation, the prices are going to be up a little bit this year, but that's true for everybody, And um, but they're still very reasonable. 
And this year, we're also going to be accepting credit cards as well as Google Pay and Apple Pay. So it makes it maybe a little easier to, to pay for it. On every Friday night, we will also be doing the Stations of the Cross here in town, here in church, uh, at 5.30. So you may have to fight for a parking spot and wonder having fish fry, but uh, we'll set a little part of the uh, parking lot aside for the uh, Stations of the Cross people. Our parish Lenten mission will be held on March 20. 21st, 20, 21st, and 22nd, um, with the Jesuit Father Kevin Schneider leading us. The title of the admission is Perfectly Patient. Does anybody here need patience besides me? I actually got to know Father Schneider. Uh, he was on our uh, priest uh, uh, pilgrimage to the Holy Land, and he and I got isolated at the, uh, out the airport. We spent some time together, so the admission... Um, should be a, a very insightful. He's a, he's a very deep spiritual man. Rice bowls will be on the table in the narthex this week and during Lent. We invite everyone to pick one up. It's a chance to help the poor throughout the world to f feed them. Uh, this is through Catholic Relief Services. Also, for your information, next weekend, March 5th and 6th, is the annual Black and Indian Mission Second Collection. We'll have that here in church, so we in encourage people to be generous to that. Our St. James Seton School is approaching the end of the third quarter. I mean, it's hard to imagine this year's, uh, you can almost see the end from here. Um, things have gone quite well in the midst of this pandemic stuff, and I'd like to thank all of our school staff and uh, all the hard work in these difficult times. And I'd also like to thank our parents for uh, keeping the kids uh, healthy and safe and at home if they are, are sick or have some symptoms. So thanks, everybody, for you know, moving forward that we can uh, enjoy the rest of the school year. I'd also like to congratulate our, the 19 St. James Seton 8th graders who uh, were awarded a high school scholarship. I mean, that's, that's almost a third of our class. Uh, that's wonderful. And we have one of the highest numbers in the whole archdiocese. So it says something about the quality of the, our teachers in our school. I'd also like to congratulate uh, St. James Seton School for becoming a superstar Catholic school winner through the Spirit Catholic Radio. There are some nice prizes that we won, including some airtime. So thank you for all those of you who voted for us. First Communion is coming soon this year. It's uh, on uh, Late Tari Sunday, which is uh, March 27th, just four weeks away. I know our second graders are really looking forward to that. Now here's something new. Our parish leadership team has come up with a new parish vision statement, and we'll be talking more about this in the future. And it's something for us to just think about. I think it's really quite inspired. The statement is, experience a journey with Christ to his kingdom. Now why is that kind of interesting? Well, this ties in with our patron saint, St. James, who is a patron of pilgrims. He is known to have traveled all the way to Western Spain, just back you know, the time of Christ. And, and that's quite a journey. And we're all pilgrims going through this, this world. It's something for us to think of that the pilgrimage we're on, the journey that we're on. We're on this journey with Jesus Christ. He's with us. He's leading us to his kingdom. And so there's a lot to say there. The, uh, again, the, it's experience the journey with Christ to his kingdom. I would like to let everybody know that Jill Krakenmeyer is now leading our youth ministry. Jill is a member of St. Elizabeth Ann uh, Parish and has great experience with very youth, various youth programs over the years. And she's really quite excited to, to continue that with Elizabeth Ann and St. James. I, I wish that our high school and middle school students will get to know Jill and our youth ministry will take off. Please stay tuned for more details in the future. As you probably know, the Catholic Voice Archdiocese newspaper has um, stopped the print edition and all that. It was a, discontinued in November. I, I you know, it's kind of hard to find, but you know, I, it's, it is something that we want to put on our website that it, it is available on on the web, and it's uh, it's uh, it's actually. Uh, not exactly the same as was, but there's there's lots of good stories on there and the obituaries and uh, art articles and, and uh, things are there. So the website is one word, catholicvoiceomaha.com, small letters, catholicvoiceomaha.com. And it'll come up and there's, there's things that you certainly can look at and read. 
Our St. James Seton School is planning on hosting another COVID va va vaccine clinic on Friday, March 11th from noon to 4 p.m. No reservations are required. You can just walk into the school library and be done in just a few minutes. Uh, you do not have to be a member of our parish and, and anyone can come. Bring a friend with you. I, I know many people are not fans of the vaccine. Now I understand that, that's fine. But for those who are interested or who need a booster, this is a great opportunity. It's a, the simplest, easiest way I know that you can get it. The Archbishop's annual appeal has gone fairly well so far. Our goal this year is just under $105,000. Now we're still about 10,000 short. And it's, I mean, I, I know there's not a whole lot of momentum right now. We've been kind of stuck there for a while. But it's, we will be having some calls and we will be sending some, having some um, follow-ups so that we, it'd be nice if we, we've made our goal over, over all the years and it's just, we're so close to just, but we'd like to be able to finish it off and, and make our goal. So there's always uh, donation cards and, and envelopes on our Narthex table. If you'd like to help us out, just pick one up and send it in, fill it out, fill it out and send it in. Our parish center renovation project is moving forward. Uh, the committee has been put together and they're working hard on making plans and it's going to take some time, but we will keep you informed because we do want it to move along fairly quickly once we get going. So uh, we'll let you know when we, when we get something solid set up. As we enter the month of March and the season of Lent, we are also want to look ahead. You know. Holy Week will be from April 10th to the 17th, and as we know, it is coming soon. One other thing is that our eighth grade confirmation will be held during Easter week, the week after Easter, on Friday, April 22nd. Archbishop Lucas will be doing our confirmation again this year. Please remember that hope certificates are being sold after most matches every weekend. These certificates cost you nothing extra, but they are actually, we get a, a, a payback to the church. So. Uh, that's that's good for us. On my last update in December, I invited everybody to come on a pilgrimage with me. This year, we're well. The pilg Medjugorje pilgrimage is just exactly two weeks away, and I'm inviting you to send your prayer intentions to our Blessed Mother with me. Uh, just write them down, put them in an envelope, and bring them to the office. I'll be happy to take them and actually present them to Our Lady when she's appearing. We are also still planning on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land in mid-October, and uh, we'll be putting out flyers in the kiosk out there in the narthex in the near future. If you have any interest or questions, just give me a call. Please consider coming to walk exactly where Jesus walked and come join us on our pilgrimage. To conclude, thank you for tuning in today. Sorry it's so, so long. Uh, this is a kind of a lengthy little one, but an awful lot of information and an awful lot happening. And we want to communicate well with people. And sometimes it, it's good just to hear these things. Again, I wish everyone a profound and deep and wonderful journey through the desert of Lent. And I pray that Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. James will be with us as we celebrate the journey of our salvation. May God bless you all abundantly now and forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful Lenten journey this year, everyone. <laughs>